BC. I'm Jarkko and welcome to my vinyl bar special. In this episode I'm gonna show you how my vinyl beer is made. Hope you enjoy it. What do I get when I mix together some malt, sugar, water and dry yeast? Let's see. And basically, that's it. Now I just have to wait for about 24 hours. And then I can start bottling operation. Alright. After about 24 hours of brewing, it's time to start the bottling operation. First, listen to this. Alright. What do we need? First, of course, bottle. Then funnel and I'm not sure but is this called sieve in English? S I E V E please could somebody tell me and some sugar and of course some kind of jug. First we add a little bit of sugar and then I just pour beer into the bottle. Oops. It smells pretty good. Then cork and basically that's it. Now we have to wait for another about 24 hours. And then this stuff is ready. As usual, waiting is the hardest part. And after another 24 hours, the beer is ready. Of course, the next step is to cool it. 
who likes warm beer anyway? Definitely not me. So, Fritz calls. So, my one beer should be ready. Let's see what we got. But first, silence please. Let's listen to this. Good. Lots of bubbles. Well, let's taste. God damn it! I say this is as good as lemon. This is actually non alcohol beer. So by drinking this, nobody gets drunk. But if it tastes this good, I don't mind. And I did some calculations and According to my calculations, this homemade, my one of beer, costs about 25 cents per liter, liter 25 cents per liter, god damn it, liter, one liter, <coughs> and energy content is about 25 kilocalories per 100 milliliter so in comparison coca-cola has more than 40 kilocalories per 100 milliliter so this is pretty light too. Basically that's it. That's how I make this my wine of beer. Cheers.